Everything went according to plan. As the lady returned from her drive, some men lounging on the corner began fighting. Their flying fist nearly struck her as she stepped from a carriage. Holmes, disguised as a kind of looking churchman, went dashing in to rescue her and was struck senselessly. Oh, is that poor man hurt? asked the lady, obviously worried. He's dead, cried several voices. No, he'll be all right, cried others. Bring him in to my couch, said Miss Adler. He must be seen to. Holmes was carried in, and I took my place by the window. I don't know how he felt, but I was ashamed of myself for playing such a trick on such a kind and beautiful creature. Still, at Holmes' signal, I did as he asked. Fire, I shouted, as smoke poured from the room. Fire, shouted the crowd. I melted away to the corner. Holmes soon joined me there. You did very well, Watson, he said. The king's letters and ph photograph are behind a sliding panel, hidden in the wall of her bedroom. When smoke filled the house, she ran there to make sure they were all right. I caught a glimpse of them. She didn't see me. I cried out that it was a false alarm, told her I felt well again, thanked her, and went on my way. In the morning, we'll go there with the king. He can get them himself.